They're gonna show both stories, and they're gonna be like, isn't the organizer from that one yeah, rally? It says, so it says that we stand with Standing Rock. It's a petition to um, immediately and permanently stop the Dakota the Access Pipeline. I will sign it.
unfortunately, we have to wear buttons like this. crosswalk says it's okay to walk we walk together and so we're walking around the cross the crosswalk in the square we're not blocking any traffic but we're getting a lot of visibility um, so the people with banners who we've already spoken to um, just follow the banners around they're gonna be on the inside facing the intersection just make sure you're staying with the banner just make sure you're paying attention to what uh, to the time on the crosswalk um, and it's been a really really effective way for us to get people moving and get people knowing about what's going on um, if, you, if you don't want to march around um, on the crosswalks and you're going to be standing, if we can try and um, distribute ourselves on all four corners if you've got a banner and you, and you just want to stand with it, that's fine. Just try and go to another corner so that we can get all four corners so people know how spread out um, and can see the action and how large it is. There's also we have information sheets, we have petitions about uh, to, against the Standing Rock, against the Dakota Access Pipeline. So, I just want to say very briefly before we start marching why we're here. We're here because we're standing against the Dakota Access Pipeline. And we're standing in solidarity with the Standing Rock Sioux. 
who have opposed this pipeline, opposed it crossing their traditional territories, opposed it crossing two of the largest aquifers in the United States, which millions of people rely on for their water. So everybody's seen the images from Standing Rock. Some of us have been there, where there's been at times up to 15,000 people at a protest camp in the middle of nowhere in North Dakota. And they've been able to stop this pipeline so far. And there's never been a pipeline that's been started that's been stopped through protest, but so far they've been successful. And it's been really been a struggle that so many people have gotten confidence. And it's really been something that's been a focal point for our climate justice movement. And really something we've gotten a lot of inspiration in our current fight against the Kinder Morgan pipeline that Trudeau approved. So, we, so as a movement and standing in solidarity with the Standing Rock suit, we were able to force that pipeline, the temporary halt of that pipeline. And they said that they were going to do an environmental impact statement on that pipeline. Well, when Trump became president, he demanded that the Dakota Access Pipeline and the Keystone XL Pipeline go forward. And now the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, which is in charge of giving the, doing this environmental impact statement, has issued the final easement allowing the final drilling for the pipeline to go through without the environmental impact statement. And this is a huge breach of law. This is a huge, disgusting, terrible thing that they're trying to do. But the people in Standing Rock are standing up. And we just got word that the U.S. Army veterans that previously went to defend the water protectors are headed to Standing Rock right now. And right now is a global period of action, so people around the world are standing up and standing against the Dakota Access Pipeline. We're part of that movement here. And so we need to keep on fighting. This pipeline has not been built, it's not been completed, and this built pipeline cannot be completed. And it will not be completed if people like you and me, like everybody around the world gets up and says, enough is enough. These projects are unnecessary, they're dangerous, they're destroying the planet, and we don't need them and we're gonna get rid of them. So thank you very much everybody for coming. Please come to the table. We have a sign up sheet to Climate Convergence Vancouver. We do actions like this at least once a month. We do educational forums. everything we can to make sure we save this planet for everybody. Thank you. So let's do some chanting. And then like I said, uh, we're going to follow the, the Standing Rock banner right there. Stay together. Eventually we're going to have two groups on opposite sides of the intersection. People, hand out information, please. And let's be loud. We're going to do this for about 20 minutes. We'll come back, have some speeches, go back out again, and make sure people understand why we're here. So let's do some standing, let's, just, let's do some chanting and get going. We stand with Standing Rock! 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 Alright, very good. Now we're going to get a little more complicated one. <laughs> From Standing Rock to BC, make the land pipeline free! From Standing Rock to BC, make the land pipeline free! From Standing Rock to BC, make the land pipeline free! Okay, you guys are doing awesome. That's the benefit of doing this every month is we get standing We stand with Standing Rock! 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 We stand with Standing Rock!
We stand with Standing Rock. 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 Access 
pipeline. And we know that the Seattle City Council passed a resolution to divest $200, $300 billion from the energy partners from Dakota. Because the Dakota Access Pipeline should be the Canadian government's website. They talked about climate change, about human caused climate change, how important it is that we respect nature, we respect indigenous rights. But you know, ask the Kinder Morgan Pipeline, ask the live stream pipeline. As soon as Trump said, we're going to resurrect the Keystone XL pipeline, it was a matter of minutes before Thank <laughs> you. 